Hi, my name is Ishmael Sukar, and I work with the NJDEP, Bureau of Fresh Water and Biological Monitoring. And this is part two of a three part video training series showing you guys how to report a HAB, collect site surveys, and collect HAB samples. In part one of this video training series, we showed you guys how to report a HAB using the DEP Report a HAB feature. In part two, we're now going to discuss phycocyanin, what it is, and how to measure it. This is known as a field fluorometer, also known as a phycocyanin meter. It is not necessary to use this to collect a HAB sample, and if you don't have one, it's perfectly fine. However, some people will have one. For example, certain state park offices or certain local health departments or even some environmental consultants. The Bureau of Fresh Water and Biological Monitoring will check the calibration of meters used by partners for each season. Before each use in the field, partners should check the meter by taking a reading using tap water, dispense it to a cup or bottle. If it is above zero, contact the Bureau of Fresh Water and Biological Monitoring. So before you take any readings, or use the meter, make sure you put on gloves because if there is a hab in the water, you do not want that cyanobacteria to get on your hands. So once you have gloves on, take your meter and turn the power button on. Then you're going to submerge your meter up to the line. Once it's submerged, gently shake it to make sure any water bubbles stuck in the cap are removed. Then you're going to press read. Take three separate readings. So the first reading here was 32. Second reading was 33. And second reading was 33. So that means the middle value or median value was 33. So that's the value you're going to be reporting. This result can be reported in the comment section of the Report Ahab survey discussed in part one or in the phycocyanin field of the sampler form discussed in part three of this training series.